What's up, guys? So let me read this because, yeah, I'm going to flip the hell out on this one, too, because, yeah, let's just read it. And, and then I'll, yeah. The total amount of donation received by the online uh, fundraiser for the Duxbury, Massachusetts father whose three children who died after a tragic incident. No, it's not a tragic incident. You're making it sound like it. No, they were unalive by their mother. Not a tragic incident. They didn't get hit by a car by accident. They didn't get... The house didn't cave in on them by accident. Their mother took their lives. There's no accident. It uh, was approaching one million on Tuesday afternoon. The GoFundMe was created for Patrick... To help him pay for medical bills, funeral services, and then this is the part that pisses me off. Legal help. According to its description, the three young kids he shared with his wife, Lindsay, five-year-old Cora, three-year-old Dawson, and seven-month-old uh, Colin, Colin, the people that you people out there that are following this case are forgetting about. Those three kids. Everybody's forgetting about them. Let's take let's let's only talk about her. Not not the three kids that she took their lives. And why is the GoFundMe to help her with her legal? No, this GoFundMe should have been for funeral bills, period. Period. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you. I'm telling everybody this. Because nobody's listening. If this woman somehow gets nothing for taking the lives of her three kids, she gets nothing for that. Other people, even Lonnie Simon, can use this in court. Once this woman gets away with it. I get she has a problem. I get that. What I don't get is. Soon as he left. It happened. But it didn't happen. Like it, multiple other times it could have happened. No. It, this was to me is planned. I don't give a crap how anybody looks at it. 